We are learning new details tonight about the gunman who opened fire in Toronto's Greektown neighborhood. Faisal Hussein killed two people and injured 13 others in July before killing himself. And now court documents are revealing more about him. The CBC's John Lancaster joins me live from Toronto. John, what more do we know about that night? Well, these documents really set the scene of what those victims went through and what witnesses did trying to help those victims. It also gives an indication of what happened on the Danforth, uh, how many of these victims were uh, out walking, strolling the streets as couples or friends. Some were sitting in dessert shops. Uh, others were attending a birthday party. The only real hint of what was about to happen came moments before those shots rang out. A local resident was walking in a back alley when he said, according to these documents, he saw someone walking behind him. He turned and he saw uh, who, uh, an individual who turned out to be the shooter who said to him, don't worry, I'm not going to shoot you. The local resident sarcastically replied, well, you know, gee, thanks, and thought nothing of it. Until a few seconds later, when he saw the gunman now identified as Faisal Hussein pull out a gun and start firing at people. Uh, some of these witnesses who were shot uh, told police in these documents that although they were wounded themselves, they saw, they saw others who were worse off and tried to help them but were pinned underneath this gun fire. It talks about how the gunman uh, stood above one young woman and fired four shots into her, uh, in many cases smiling before leaving establishments, walking down the street and continuing to seem seemingly uh, shoot people at random. And what have you learned about the gunman himself? Well, it gives us an indication of what police, uh, their internal police databases knew about this suspect uh, in the hours and days uh, after that shooting. Uh, he was known to police, as is in the jargon. The other police jargon they used is uh, Faisal Hussein was described as EDP, or an, as an emotionally disturbed individual person, as far back as 2010, when he'd had several interactions with police. He was described as a loner, someone who had a cocaine uh, problem, someone who was on antidepressants. Uh, earlier that day, his own brother had told him, you know, you've got to get your life in order. They tried sending him to a local mosque, but he appeared, apparently had no interest in religion uh, and seemingly set off from home that night carrying a backpack. Uh, police or eventually approached his body after he killed himself after the shooting. His cell phone was ringing. It was his parents, and police told him to get to a police station where his own parents finally learned what he had done and that their son was dead. All right, John, thank you. CBC reporter John Lancaster in Toronto.